All right, uh, it's been raining for the last week pretty much. And uh, it stopped raining the other day. Yesterday it stopped raining and it was clear. But the river level was too high to fish this area. So now I'm out here, it's probably 50 degrees. Uh, I wasn't expecting to see any fish, but since the storm and everything, I guess some of the fish got washed over this way and I'm already seeing bass swimming around out here. As soon as I pulled up, I could see some here, right in this little area. So, which is unusual. I usually don't see bass on this side of the bridge in this area. So I don't know where, where they went. There's a handful of them. So I'm gonna fish this area for a while. Uh, so maybe I'll come up with something. I'm going to be throwing both a Sanko and a crankbait, so we'll see. All right, let's see if I can get this crankbait up inside this tunnel without shattering it against the concrete. Yeah, wow, the water is a lot deeper down in there than it usually is. There we go. All right, this is a spot. Haven't actually fished this spot in a long time. Uh, the tree down here has been knocked down in the storm. It's been washed over, but I did see a bass that's well over a pound. And considering I don't see anything else around here, I'm gonna see if I can catch him. It's around here somewhere. Down in here, the water's pretty clear. Uh, usually there's more room to walk around out there. And usually you have all that area to go fishing too, but now there's a tree blocking it off. So you only got this spot a little bit further down that way. There is some douchebag in a Dodge Ram that keeps circling around me. And whenever he gets close to my car, he just revs his engine. A minute ago when I was digging through my trunk, getting my gear out, he peeled out in the mud across from me. I thought he was gonna try to spray me with rocks or something. But if that's you and you're watching this video, you're a douchebag. Like, there goes that asshole in the Dodge Ram again. Like, seriously, dude, what, you, what is up with you? What are you trying to do? Get the f out of here already, dude. And look, there's the big bass. There's two of them right there just looking at me. <sighs> Crap. I don't have a Senko on right now, so let me try my crank. Of course, it's stuck to the tree. That one looks like a two pounder from right here. Uh, there wasn't actually recording, but I should have been. Uh, a little trick I do to get more life out of the Senkos. So whenever I Texas rig them, they always get torn up on the end. So it, I only put it about that far in. So when it gets torn up, I cut it off and it's good as new. But I mean, you can only do that so many times before it starts to lose its uh, movement. It's getting kind of dark, but I can still see these bass swimming around out here. All right, uh, I don't know if you can even see the trail on the camera here. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm walking down the trail. I'm not sure if you can even see I can't see it on the screen. The screen's pitch black. But, uh, I got tired of fishing with the lures and I, uh, had a little bluegill I found. He was up on the rocks here I just put them on the hook and threw them out there now I'm coming to check my line 
Looks like it's slack. But, oh wait, there's something pulling on it. I'm trying to do this while holding my phone at the same time. It's not too easy. Uh, little bitty catfish. Not even really fighting anymore. But, uh, I was trying to catch one of those bass that was out here. And I ended up getting a little... It's probably a six inch little catfish. You can see the bluegill still in his mouth there. Let's see if I can at least get my hook back. I got the fish. I actually had to pull the fish out, but I put it back in there. Man, he's biting you hard. Uh, but, there he goes. Turn around and go the other way, fool. And there he goes.